Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Nas We Trust here. Uh, so, today I got a Trials of Osiris match gameplay commentary for you guys uh, with um, with uh, my TCG guys. Uh, my boy Liquid Syfax is back for the time being. Who knows if he'll st actually stick around this time. But, we shall see. Uh, so I'm running with, uh, with him, with, uh, Vaccine, the Vaccinator, aka Mr. 3v1 Clutch. Uh, <laughs> we had some pretty interesting matches last night while we were running trials and whatnot. Um, speaking of 3v1 Clutch, this first round here, uh, I go for the revive right there on my boy Syfax, but he gets stuck with a trip mine grenade. Trip mine grenades and lightning grenades are the bane of our existence in Trials of Osiris, and they are very good, so if you're not using them, you should probably use them. Uh, so I'm left to 3v1 clutch here. I pick off that first guy. Second one here pokes the corner right here. They should probably, especially since I was weak from the first guy's thorn, uh, they should definitely push me together, but uh, they go back for the revive. Uh, and yeah, that guy runs out for whatever reason. Um, I like how I recommended that you guys use the trip mine grenades and then I'm using incendiary. <laughs> what a hipster. Uh, second guy pokes out there and tries to snipe me, but uh, I end up picking him off and basically secure the 3v1 here. After two of them are down, I just let Vaccine chase that guy down. I got no more ammo. Go for the revive on my boy Syfax there. Um, so generally I wanted to give you guys a couple of um, tips and stuff like that. Like I said, I was running trials yesterday with uh, with my boys. Generally this map can be broken down into three parts. There is the far left, which you kind of see me going to right now, but I, I don't think I actually... Do I actually finish going through? Okay, I do. Uh, this That far left side, if you keep going forward, not the way I'm going right now, um, that is the far left of the map. That's where the heavy ammo spawns on that left side. Right here is mid, and over here is the uh, like far right side of the map. But I get the... Um, generally, what we were doing was we were sending uh syfax and vaccine over to that side and uh as you can see i crossed i just crossed over from mid and then we um we sandwiched that dude who was there because uh they just give me a call out um generally speaking you can uh there's a couple different strategies that you can use on this map i really don't like going on the far left side of the map until uh, heavy ammo spawns you're pretty useless if you go to that side to your team it takes you way too long to react to uh, teammates call outs and stuff like that um, so yeah like I said it was kind of trial and error we we're kind of messing around with some stuff with some, some ideas and like I said I found that if you go to that far left side you just don't react fast enough to call outs or um, you know just just trying to help out your team so don't don't go there right here this middle area where i'm in right now this is the uh i guess largest area to cover but generally i was pushing um that middle area with the big old cube the the cube that's in the center of the map um i generally like going there and then um vaccine and mike were going to the right uh we would switch it up sometimes depending on um depending on the situation for the most part i was going to the heavy ammo the the bottom side uh bottom of the map heavy ammo and vaccine and mike were going to the top side and i could call out to them and let them know if um people if anybody came down here for whatever reason in this match in particular i did not do that so this isn't this is actually a pretty poor example which kind of sucks because i wanted to show you guys uh, the strategy of what we were doing but it didn't really matter because vaccine and mike took care of the guy's top side the guy got uh, only one of them picked up the heavy from bot side and then you know we just kill him there as a rule of thumb guys don't use a don't use a light machine gun please don't use an lmg you're just hurting your team uh rockets are just way too damn good in this game you're putting yourself at a severe disadvantage if you use a machine gun so don't do that um but yeah, like I said here, you could see uh, this is the other strategy that we were running sometimes. You can overload three to one side, so we would overload three to the right, and we could, you can push together. The problem with that is, as you can see, Vaccine Pops is super there while we're rushing, um, and nobody's there. He doesn't get a kill because they all snuck through the far left side of the map. 
by the heavy ammo and end up just running into our spawn. Uh, I believe in this round here in particular, I'm left to 3v1 again, uh, but I don't pull off the 3v1 clutch like I did before. Um, but yeah, generally speaking, Trials of Osiris, um, we lost one match, which was really surprising because um, I've ran matches with, uh, I've run a lot of matches of Trials of Osiris. I ran it like five times last week. This was the first uh, first match of with the new you know map and the new rotation and all that stuff and with Mike, but I think uh, in the one map that we lost, we were kind of just really discombobulated and really just like spread out across the map and we were just all relying on um, our own gun individual gun skill to just win one v one fights and then we the other team just had better coordination or they were just beating us to snipe spots and we would just get picked off. Right here, uh, it's a one v one. But um, that guy there pops his super, as you can see. In that situation, I'm pretty helpless. I can't pick up my teammates. Obviously, he has gold gun. He'll just one-shot us. So I uh, push back, which is the right uh, the right play. And he actually makes a good play by not pushing me. Gold gun, you can easily get shot out of your gold gun. I could have, if he did push me, I could have turned the corner, which is what I was planning on doing, turning around and then just, you know, going for the... Um, going for the snipe on him as he turns the corner with gold gun but he makes the good play and uh, stops picks up all through both of his teammates so it becomes a 3v1 and their odds of beating us are uh, increased by a lot obviously and um, so yeah definitely a good play by him it's definitely the right play to make as well uh, like I said normal strategy vaccine and Mike are pushing that right side I'm gonna go ahead and look mid see if I can spot anybody out over here this is that cube that I was talking about in the center of the map get a good field of view obviously I get one over here two over here by the heavy ammo so I make the call out to Mike and Vaccine they collapse take out this guy uh, Vaccine has somebody weak on my backside take care of that guy and then one more he pops his golden gun I uh, don't kill him but I get some shots in him Mike cleans him up and there it is so yeah, generally speaking um, I like the 2-1 spread. Uh, you guys can definitely overload that right side with three people, but generally we were having a lot more success by having two people on that right side, one in mid, and just calling out from there and then just working together as a team. Uh, trials was pretty fun with them uh, yesterday, so I look forward, on, uh, look forward to uh, playing some more of it. Hope you guys are having fun with uh, trials and whatnot. Um... But yeah, uh, so look forward to some more Destiny content coming out soon. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.